Hello, welcome to another UK Gravel Collective vlog or a complete shit show vlog. Anyway, um, if you've been watching this, some of the other videos, you know that I did four, I think it was. There's a bit of doubt there uh, about refurbishing the Sonda El Camino frame and a new paint job. Um, it was supposed to be a winter project, which turned out to be a spring project and now a summer project but it's just about finished there are little tweaks i need to do but i thought i'd take this opportunity to show you the finished product so here it is so if you remember um this started off as a yellow green and pink frame in fact this one and now it looks like this this is supposed to be neapolitan ice cream which was suggested on my Instagram channel at UK Gravel Co. Um, by My Midlife Adventure. There were lots of suggestions, um, but this was the most interesting one I thought. Uh, and I love Neapolitan ice creams, proper old school 70s, 80s ice cream. So obviously, pink is raspberry, vanilla, and chocolate. Um, and then there was a bit of a debate. I put it out to Instagram as well of what colour bar tape to have. Um, people saying all you need is wafer colour, but it's quite hard to get a proper wafer colour. So the other suggestion was pink. Um, and I did in fact find a pink and it's sort of a waffle um, pattern. Um, so I ordered both and I thought whichever turns up first will go on for the first build. Um, so this is it. This is the brand. This is supposed to be the waffle. Now I've got some graphics in the pipeline, which are... Uh, one will go here, yeah. I'm not, I won't reveal that yet. Uh, and then there'll be a UK Gravel Collective um, logo on the down tube. And so the big thing is really, this is single speed. I want to ditch all but one of the gears. Uh, and that's quite hard when this is a standard uh, threaded bottom bracket and this is a bolt through axle. So I've gone with the Velo Orange eccentric bottom bracket. So this just screws into your standard bottom bracket um, and then the bearings are offset so you can adjust them. I'm running a 38 ring up front uh, and a 16, I think. Yeah, 16 tooth at the back. Now, it's quite hard to know what ratio to put this in because um obviously don't want it too spinny on tarmac where you know you're not going anywhere but then when you get to off-road especially around where i live there's lots of short sharp little hills with very little chance of getting any momentum so you want to gear it for going uphill as well um without having to stand up all the time because you know any bit of dampness that you're going to lose rear grip so it's a bit of a compromise with the gearing um i have got a 40 tooth chain ring i can throw on uh, if this is a bit low, but the only thing to do is to try it. However, at the moment, I'm suffering from some sort of mystery calf strain. So I don't think pushing one gear off-road is a good idea at the moment. Um, so it remains to be seen how this gearing goes. But I just wanted to update everyone. That's going to change as well. That's just the one that I had in um, when I was spraying it. I'm going to get a uh, standard one, not a quick release. Uh, and I think these need to be black. But most of it is a parts bin build anyway. So um, these very old 105 hydraulic um, levers. Obviously don't need the shifting. Um, not the best shape really for off-road. GRX is a lot better. Um, and that's it that's some really cheap wheels from uh, the superstar component sale i think they were like 90 quid for the pair not particularly light tubeless up really well They're actually road wheels um so yeah a bit of a part's been built um with a bit of love gone into the, the paint job anyway so let me know what you think down in the comments. So a quick update on the uh, bar tape that you saw, which was brown. This is now not brown because of a little incident I had where I came off and took out most of the bar tape on the right hand side. And it also resulted in this. 
So, not clever. Anyway, so the other suggestion was pink. And this is the nearest I could find to a waffle colour. I don't think it's too waffle. Now the biggest issue was finding the correct ratio. So I started off with 38.16, which was lovely on the road, but climbs off road, no, there's too much for my legs. So I went to 38.18. Okay, on the off road, far too spinny on flat tarmac, like proper comedy pedaling. So compromise went for 17. And that's what's on there. It seems okay. I mean, <coughs> off-road when it's wet, it's probably going to be difficult because of traction issues uh, and having to get out of the saddle. But yeah, we'll give it a go. I think it's going to make a decent road winter bike. Blech. Can't have that. Need to do off road as well. Um, but I will get full mud guards on this. So I think that's just about it for the um, repaint a series of videos with the old sonder. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, I'm sure in a couple of weeks' time I'll decide to paint it another colour. But the main thing to say is don't be afraid to have a go. If you've got an old tatty frame, give it a rub down, give it a new coat of paint, give it a new lease of life. It is really good fun. I'm no expert and everyone who sees this says it looks reasonably decent, so why not give it a go yourself? Well, thanks for watching all these videos and this video. If you'd like to watch other stuff like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.